say it with me. I don't give a fuck no more, man. I really don't. I really don't because let me let me move over here. Let me tell you why because now we can talk. Now we can talk. Let's talk. I really don't give a a fuck no more, man, because I'm not saying I don't give a fuck about myself, but as far as trying to change anything, that's the level that I'm at now. And right now, we at the phase where pretty much I have discussed everything that you can possibly ex discuss concerning the exterior aspect of the human prison ball realm. So on this channel, we are about to switch it to the internal human prison ball realm, which deals with your inner being, which is trapped inside of a body We've dealt with the body within the macrocosm of the human prison ball realm itself. Now it's time for us to direct the attention to the microcosm of, of, of your own self. And what brought me to this um, reality is I was looking at myself in a mirror in the mirror last night and I just got caught up in a trance just staring at my reflection and I realized that I am the sum totality of my existence meaning that Everything that I do is up to me and my decisions that I make. And the energy within my internal structure, I can't allow anyone, anything to manipulate that energy. My emotions, everything about me that, that comprises who I am is dictated by what I, I allow to go inside of me from the external human prison ball realm. Because we as the human, we can be our own human prison ball within ourself. And that's why I wanted to start taking the information like Ultimately, if you don't know about the agenda, then guess what? Ultimately, that ignorance will cause you to be a prisoner to your own consciousness of lacking knowledge on certain things. Because you lack certain knowledge, that's what imprisons you. You can't expect them to free you. Ultimately, even if you was in a regular prison, if they open up the gate, it's up to you to get off your prison bunk and walk out of the door. Ultimately, the decision to leave a fenced area is up to you. And inside of our own personal self, we have a lot of, you know, we have a lot of low self-esteem. Where do these things come from? Depression, mental instability, 
Where does it come from? It's coming from outside, outside of us. Like, for instance, when someone lacks self-confidence, lacking self-confidence, it's a learned behavior. You saw somebody in a human prison ball realm doing something that you wanted to do, and if you couldn't do what they did, it made you feel less, less than. And I believe I use an example similar, similar to this about if you was the only person in the world, like the Adam story, you wouldn't have anything to compare yourself to. You wouldn't have any contrast or anything to make you doubt yourself or doubt your abilities because you would have no one telling you that you can't do this, you can't do that, you're not good enough to achieve this, or you don't fit in in this, you know, corner of society, because you would be the only person. So, just by observing the human prison ball realm around you, let's just say if you didn't know the things that I'm telling you now, like that's on this channel, a lot of people will would fall victim to the outer aspect of the human prison ball realm. Listening to the lies that people say. See, the only thing the human prison ball realm can do is present to you information. It's up, it's up to you to either accept or reject what you saw, what you heard, or the actions that you, you know, saw somebody do even if you was raised a certain way, your parents, if they were never freed from the internal human prison bar cell, then guess what? They would pass the programming down to you. Some of us, I believe that the DNA that goes into a person, your parents, what they failed to do you picked up some of that some of that DNA. You picked up some of that DNA. And some of us, we fighting some of those demons that was passed down to us. Some of those programmings that was passed down to us. Almost like if you had to move into a hotel room that someone else had before you and they left trash, you would have to clean it up. You would be responsible for it if you was in like a you know cheap hotel where the um, room service people didn't give a fuck because they wasn't getting paid but seven fifty an hour. You would have to would have to go in there and basically straighten it up. They not going to do it. So that's what the um, the internal human prison bar aspect is about. It's about discipline having to discipline yourself having to uh, have the self resistance to resist certain urges and inner feelings that draws you back into the HPB realm for whatever reason you see it's up to you to deal with that only thing a left side can do is just tell you. You got the human prison ball realm, which is comprised of the outer world, but then there's that inner cell. That inner cell. I'm pointing to myself. That inner cell. And that's the part you have to work at daily because they, they always going to be feeding you something. Subliminal messages people on your job, you constantly are going to be challenged every day. But then you have that, the battle in the mind. And part of overcoming the battle in the mind is accepting the truth about things. 
A lot of the pressure we have comes from not giving up the old way of thinking. So we holding on to these old concepts and it's causing us a heaviness and a pressure inside of us. Like for instance, all of the things that's going on in the world right now, I have given up caring about it. Even these latest protests. For instance, it was a, a girl killed by the name of Breonna Taylor. And I told y'all that this was going to happen. She was killed by the police. Another incident similar to the George Floyd incident. And remember when I said that justice is a myth, justice is a myth and this world is controlled by violence and manipulation. And then I said that eventually they're going to have they're going to have a terrorist attack. And guess what happened? During a Breonna Taylor protest, and you can look this up, this was recently. Guess what happened? Somebody started shooting. People was injured and a man lost his life. So what does that tell you? That at the end of the day, what what will you do once they start shooting up the protests? Then you won't even be able to protest anymore. You get what I'm saying? They start shooting it up. So what is your next option? You don't have any more options. Your only option would be to go to war. Simple as that. They can throw a monkey wrench in anything that you try to do. People just protesting. Someone starts shooting. People do that enough. If people started shooting enough during these protests and rallies, people would just stop doing it altogether. So then, what would be your next option? You say you hate the system, you hate the police. They start shooting up your protests. What's your next option? Violence. That would be the only thing you would have left. And that's really what that incident showed me because at the end of the day, you can protest and somebody could shoot you while you are protesting. As messed up as that is, that's the reality of it. Because at the end of the day, this world is controlled by the means of violence and manipulation. That'll look good on the t-shirt too. Violence and manipulation. That's it. So that means that the only thing you have left is basically Spending more time to yourself, staying out of crowds, and just stop giving a fuck. That's all we can do. And just sit back and observe everything. Like I said, become an observer. You can't change this world. And when a person is not thinking like us, they are animals. Animals cannot come up with solutions for world peace. These are human prison bars. They cannot come up with solutions to solve the problems in the world. So forget about it. There is no changing this world. The world that we see it was shaped through violence and manipulation and it will continue to be shaped by violence and manipulation until the last day or when this earth is destroyed. It's simple as that. Humans are not getting no better. The only, the only people that will elevate beyond this human prison bar body that we all have the only people that will elevate it 
who will elevate beyond this will be us the you the united souls that's it everybody else they trap like we said and sometimes i'm repeating stuff because we we have some new definitions on the channel these people are animals why what did we say a few videos back a few videos back what did we say you are an animal and i want y'all to remember this stuff you are an animal when you can't think outside of your environment that's the true definition of a animal an animal is not because you have hair all over your body like a chimpanzee that's not what an animal is an animal is anything anyone who cannot think outside of their environment and these people around us so so don't try to struggle with them don't don't try to struggle with them don't try to be convincing them of anything the only difference between them and chimpanzees is the fact that they wash their face in the morning, they can drive a car, but they can't think outside of this environment. Therefore, they are an animal. They can't question the universe around them. They can't question why things are operated the way they are. So they're not trying to rebel against this system. So when you see them out marching and protesting, they are going by a formula that has already failed. So that means everybody that's out there protesting, they animals. You know why? Because they're going by a, a, a pre-programmed pre way of fighting justice, which is nothing but a scam which was actually created by the human prison bar system because the HPB leaders, they allow them to protest that way because they know ultimately it doesn't do anything. They know that people walking up and down the street is not affecting their money. We already let it be known that real change comes with change getting rid of the money system, the change, you get it? It's in the word itself, real change when you get rid of the money system. They not protesting about that. So even the way they protest lets you know that they are animals. They can't think past the stupidity that they do. That's the definition of an animal. So, hey. Okay letting you know this because we have to see there's a time when you are by yourself you've been by yourself before dealing with your own internal faults that you having that's most of the time when you be thinking about stuff and doubting stuff in your uh, in your mind about yourself it's not you that created those doubts it came from the the outer world from the HPB realm. But when it when it came inside of you, it turned into the programming. So you are fighting a internal cell, internal cell warfare. I coined a new term, internal cell warfare a byproduct of being in the human prison ball realm. Internal, internal cell warfare. It's a byproduct of being inside of the human prison ball realm. So that's the stage where I'm taking this channel now. Because this human prison ball information, like I told y'all, is deep. I could write 100,000 books about this. The information is very complex. Think about it, they've had thousands and thousands of years to come up with ways, even our bodies, our habits, 
the way we were trained. They've had millenniums upon millenniums of programming human beings who had other human beings. So whatever they failed to fix inside of their inside of their human internal cell, they passed it down to their children. So we got generations and generations of com compounded programming inside of us. That's why a lot of people, that's why when, when we explain the external part of the human prison ball realm, a lot of people don't get it. When we break down the six laws that governs the human prison ball realm, all of that stuff, like even the book that I have, it's about the external aspect of the human prison ball realm. But a lot of people can't even get to that stage because they are fighting a uh, internal cell war inside of themselves. You get what I'm saying? And that's what it is, man. It, that's real, right? That's real. Like I told y'all, we touching on stuff on this channel that people haven't even spoke about, man. This is cutting edge. 2020 information we taking this beyond we taking this beyond that's what we're going to start focusing on this internal cell warfare so now this channel I'm, I'm going into the direction of speaking more about resistance discipline and things like that we have to resist giving a care basically about this world. Like when you see people out here, man, just feel like you you walking through a television set. That's how I feel. Like I say to myself, this is just a Hollywood TV set. These people walking around, they ignorant as fuck. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they don't even exist. Only reason why I acknowledge them is because I'm walking in a store and somebody is walking in behind me and you know just not to be impolite I may you know really I, I just want the door to slam in their face but to keep attention off of me and stuff I may you know just hold the door open or whatnot but ultimately <clears throat> we have separated from them so basically I'm just sitting back to see how this stuff continues to unfold because we, we, we talked about this last year. We want their system to come down. Like it's burning down right before our eyes. When I hear about certain things that take place, I'd be like, wow. Somebody might say you crazy, but I'd be like, I wish more more of this stuff will take place because I want these people eliminated, man. They in they in our way. They in the way, man. They in the way of true progress to take place on this earth. They in the way. They taking up space. They having kids. These ignorant kids keep populating the earth. We are outnumbered, like I said. So I'm waiting for the major catastrophe to take place in this world. Nuclear war, a comet or meteor striking the earth. I'm just ready for this thing to be destroyed. I'm ready for it to, to come tumbling down. Like London Bridges. Y'all remember that game? London Bridges? I'm ready for this thing to start just deteriorating, man. Because enough is enough. We fed up. As Jaguars, we are fed up. And like I said, shirts will be out by mid-July. The first shirt, shirt I'm coming out with is the Violence and Manipulation shirt. So, be on the lookout for that shirt. I'm going to be honest. I've gotten kind of lazy on the book, but I need to get back and finish it before the summer is out. But most definitely... I'm going to have that violence and manipulation shirt out for you to purchase so we can wear it. Then I'm going to have that shirt 
And it's gonna, and this is what the shark gonna say. It's gonna say, fuck you, HPB. It's gonna say, fuck you at the top, HPB at the bottom, and it's gonna have a finger pointed like that. So when you're walking around, you can be telling them, you can be telling them, and they not gonna even know what you're saying. They don't know what HPB means. The shark gonna say, fuck you. It's gonna say, fuck you. And it's gonna have a finger pointing like this. And at the bottom, it's gonna say HPB. It's gonna say, fuck you, HPB. That's the direction we're going, man. Because I hate this world. I hate these people. As much as I, you know, I'm intellectually, you know, breaking it down eloquently and everything, but that's the rage being explained. Really, I could say, fuck this video and say, fuck y'all. But I'm, I'm turning the rage into an intellectual moment where we come together and we speak about these things. That's what I'm doing. But really, fuck all of that. Fuck them. That's basically the true message that I have. I'm just being, you know, you know, scholarly right now, if you would. But really, the true one word is fuck y'all. You know, that's how we coming. We coming with that energy. And that's what it is, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the new direction the channel is going. Um, I want y'all to put some input in on this too because your words are important as well. I want you to put some things in the comments section about the internal cell warfare. That's the new stuff we need to touch on, you know. Put some stuff in the comment section. You might tell me something, make me think about something. I, I could have missed something. You can tell me something I could have missed, you know. Each one teach one. So that's the new direction we're heading. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Edify each other. Hit the likes button, hit the subscribe button. And with that, this is Left Side of the Brain. Signing out, Jaguars up.